Hi, James. Hi, Joanne. <laughs> so, what do you think? Well, okay, it's a Saturday night here in Dumbo, and uh, I guess we've, we've had the show up now for about three days. And I'm uh, favorably impressed with the crowd that we've had through here, and uh, things are going well. And how did the show come about? Can you tell us a little bit well, about Brooklyn Art Now? <coughs> this was uh, in conjunction with the Verge Brooklyn Art Fair and uh, the Brooklyn Borough President's Office, Two Trees Management, and the Brooklyn Arts Council. Mm -hmm. And I was commissioned <laughs> to do an impossible job, which was to try to curate all of the Brooklyn artists well, to have Brooklyn galleries into one show. So my job was to uh, send out letters to the Brooklyn galleries, get people to submit artists, and then from the artists that they submitted, I selected about, uh, I think it was 50, wow. 55 artists. And then the challenge was getting all the work together, getting it down here and putting it on the walls and getting the videos put together and uh, the sculpture displayed. And how were the artworks chosen? Or, um, and it was just kind of open? Well, it was... <laughs> there were a lot of criteria. Of course, I've, I've been covering the Brooklyn art scene for about 15 years. So you're and, very familiar. Um, so I have a pretty good idea of what's going on. And, and I wanted to uh, feature different things about Brooklyn that I think are kind of unique about what's going on here. One of them is the idea of the what I call the meta-drawing, which are people doing large drawings that sort of involve a whole lot of things, calendars, diaries, uh, diagrams, things like that. Um, one of the other things was I think that there's a pretty good uh, video community going on here. So we've got Robert Hooman, who is uh, handling our video program, is done a pretty good job of getting that together. And is he a curator or an artist? He's both. <laughs> and, um, and another thing was that I, I ended up finding out that a lot of the people that run galleries are actually artists as well. And so it was really a great opportunity to sort of give these people a chance to show their own work. Because a lot of times when you're working as a gallerist, mm -hmm. you're spending your time and your energy promoting other people. And uh, I think it was really great that uh, we had a chance to, to give these people a little, little piece of the spotlight here. Mm -hmm. And is this the first time that you've curated a show? No. And will, be the, will this be the last time you curate a show? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. But uh, no, I've curated shows before. I, it's not something that I, I love to do. But when they, uh, they came to me and they said, uh, we're going to do a Brooklyn Art Now show, I thought about it and I said, you know, you got to step up. I know the Brooklyn art scene as well as anybody. Mm -hmm. And I just decided <clears throat> I will spend the next three weeks Holland doing back. a performance. <laughs> I consider it a performance piece. This is not really curating. It's a performance piece. And I have to say that probably the best thing about it is that um, I'm just a figurehead. It was, this is actually a, a manifestation of the Brooklyn art scene. I, I could not have done any of this without a whole lot of people covering <laughs> my back, covering my ass. <laughs> I actually, I would come in there and I'd be doing things and people would come in and go, they'd look at me and they'd say, well, we should move that here and that there. And then they just pat me on the back and say, go down the hall, we'll hang this whole gallery. <laughs> let us take care of they it. Would let, let me take care of it. I would come back in two hours and they would have it hung beautifully. And I would just go, oh, <laughs> thank you. And is there a particular artist or a couple artists who really do um, represent Brooklyn or maybe just um, who you feel is your favorite? Or? Well, come this way. I'm following. Come this way. Steady. Here's Steady. <laughs> This is actually an artist that I think is pretty hot, pretty interesting. Her name is Meg Hitchcock. She has a show up right now uh -huh. at Famous Accountants. And uh, she's an incredible collage artist. Uh -huh. And 
and uh, I think the work is great. Um, in the gallery at 200, you can hear the sound in the background. I can. Mm -hmm. That's a guy named Nick Yulman, and um, he's got a great piece called, I think it's Musical Cabinets, and it's sort of like a, an old, um, what is it, a library catalog drawers, and as you pull out Those very one, small ones? Like yes, mm -hmm. and as you pull out the drawers, they actually, there's little things inside them that are activated, and they start playing music, so you've got little things that are clicking on glass bottles and shells and things like that. And uh, that's been very popular. And are there artists a range of, you know, emerging and established or... You know, one of the great things about this is that I've been able to mix in young artists, people that are just coming out of school, with artists that are mature. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, this piece right here, mm -hmm. this large paper collage drawing thing by Despo Magnoli, and I I wouldn't want to say, it, you know, I, I, I'm not going to say how old she is, she is, but let me just say that she's a, a mature artist, and so between those brackets, we've got a, you know, a pretty fair view of uh, some of the contemporary art that's happening in Brooklyn. And, and do we have a nice mix of, I know there's the video screening of all the videos and here seems like painting and drawing. How about sculpture and We do and have sculpture. We've got a lot of sculpture. We've got some pieces by one of the gentlemen is Ben Godward, who's got kind of an interesting, uh, it's two office chairs that have been melded with uh, resin and epoxy and all kinds of weird foam things. And it's, it's odd because it's actually sitting in a place that looks like it was a former office and you sort of walk in there and go, geez, this is something that just, some mutant office chair that took over the space itself and started growing. Um, we've got some other major installations down there. Uh, Raul Alexander has a piece that's made out of a slab of, I believe it's maple, from a tree that was felled during the the historic October hurricane in Brooklyn. <laughs> and he chopped it, he, he cut off a slab of it, and then he chiseled a, uh, a little uh, wedge nook in there, and he gold leafed this, and there's a um, fresh hot dog in there, and every day they have to come in and put in a Replace fresh it. hot dog. Has anyone tried to eat it? No, but it's certainly <laughs> open to you if you'd be, <laughs> if you're hungry. <laughs> Yeah, we've archived it in the refrigerator. <laughs> I'll bring ketchup tomorrow. <laughs> Good. So that's, that kind of is an overview of what we've got going. Great. And I invite everybody to come down and check Great. out Brooklyn Art Now. And will you be um, interview or, uh, yes, reviewing yes. your own show? With no, I will not be reviewing my own show. <laughs> I'm leaving it to wonderful people like you. <laughs> well, thank you, James. Thank you.